Good morning and welcome from the employee lot of the Austin Bergstrom Airport. We are going on a special trip. We are. So we're about to board a plane and head to Nashville. Um, we've already mentioned it before, but we are going actually to a party for two YouTubers named Kara and Nate. They actually have been traveling nonstop for the past four years and they just hit their 100th country and they're throwing a huge party in Nashville. So we got tickets for it and we're headed out. And when they were in their 100th country, they also got 1 million subscribers. Yeah. So this has a really special meaning for them and it should be a good time. It will be a good time. We, um, It's gonna be pretty intimate compared to how many followers they have versus how many tickets they gave out. It should be pretty intimate. I knew they're gonna have like a documentary screening of their like a summary of their last four years so we're we've been really looking forward to it and we're excited that we're gonna get to go and we're gonna do a meet and greet so yeah. we'll be able to insert the photo yeah so we're gonna vlog as much of this trip as we can so we're excited to show you guys So we just checked into our hotel here in Nashville. So this is a really cool old building built in the 1920s that used to be like apartments essentially that they turned into a hotel and you can definitely tell it's built in the 20s. Definitely, it's awesome. It is an awesome place. So we're gonna give you a room tour. So we went grocery shopping since we have a studio unit and we got back to the hotel room and ended up passing out. Slept. But it felt good. So now we're out walking to the Parthenon here in Nashville, which if you don't know what that is, it's an actual replica of the Parthenon in Greece and it was built in the late 1800s. So it's now a art museum and sits in the middle of Centennial Park. We are all bundled up because it was 42 degrees when we left the unit, so we can uh, stay warm on our little walk. It's about a 20 minute walk, right? Yeah, it's about 20 minutes, right about one mile from the um, hotel to Centennial Park. So when we left Austin, it was chilly, but we weren't expecting it to be in the 30s. And I think tomorrow it's going to get down to like 25 degrees. So. I'm not ready for it. I thought winter was over in Texas. We also have nice little travel umbrellas that we left at home. Oh and my God. We had to buy an umbrella because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Yeah, I we didn't realize we left our umbrellas until we were at the airport getting ready to get on the plane because it's like a 90% chance of rain tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, it's all green. 
But we're gonna make the best of it and uh, we'll show you guys what the apartment looks like. How was the food? It was good. So we came to this place called Martin's Barbecue, actually that our Uber driver told us to go to. It was good. And we completely forgot to take any pictures or videos of it before we dug in, but we were hungry. <laughs> we got the pulled pork that had baked beans and potatoes. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I had coleslaw. It was good. I do love Austin's it was good. It was good, but I I agree the our Texas barbecue just doesn't compare to anywhere else. But I had the pulled pork sandwich as well with the potato salad and mac and cheese. I mean it was good. I by no means am I saying that the meat was juicy, it was tender, um, white it was a pulled pork shoulder, wasn't it? Yeah, it was shoulder. It was good. It was good. Yeah. But now we're full bellied. <laughs> so when you're in Nashville, come check out Martin's Barbecue. <laughs> All right. So we had a fantastic dinner. We relaxed in bed for a little bit to let our food digest. Now we're headed out. We're going to what street? We're going to Broadway in Nashville. Yes. So I've never been here before. So. I heard it's a lot like 6th Street in Austin, but I feel like I've never been, so I need to experience it. So we're going to Broadway. Okay, let's go. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. We are in Nashville. We had a great night last night, but today's the big day. So we're gonna get ready here shortly to go to our event. Yes, yeah, so we're definitely gonna be vlogging from there. We're also gonna be sh um, showcasing a lot of it on Instagram as well. So if you're not following us, go ahead and follow us now at theworld.unlocked. Well, we're gonna try to vlog, but if we don't get a chance to vlog a lot of it, we will definitely insert photos when Travis is editing the yeah, video. Yeah, because we'll be taking a lot of photos. So, but it's time to get ready. We gotta leave here in about an hour, uh, but we're only like five minutes away from Marathon Music Works, which is where it's being held. All right, we'll check in with y'all in a little bit. Basil crickets. Oh, I'm about to eat a cricket. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, good. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it's like a burnt end piece, like of a cricket. Like when you're the barbecue, that's what it tastes like. It's a burnt end of uh, chicken. Well, I did it. Awesome. <laughs> so we're here, we just got in, we got our photo op with Kara and Nate, which was so much fun. Yes, they are a lovely couple. They are really awesome. They're just... They're genuine people. Yeah. 
and they're taking the time to meet every single person that they can. Um, they're just really nice people. It's if you been have like 15 seconds per Yeah, there's been like 15, person. 20 seconds per person. But if you Very haven't genuine. watched if you haven't watched their vlog, go check it out. It's Kara yeah. and Nate, all one word on YouTube. It's a really they have cool like seven hundred videos. So they're gonna put out a documentary. We get to see it. We're gonna be the first ones to see it <laughs> today, and then I'm sure they're gonna post it on their YouTube channel. Yeah. So but yeah, we'll video more.
one hundred. Morning from our last day here in Nashville. It's go home day. But first, how was the party last night? We had so much fun. Of course, we got to do the meet and greet with them. Um, they aired their last vlog along with a documentary, kind of highlighting their last four years of travel, which was super inspiring. I would definitely say that they're inspiring. That's yeah. a, a good word. And they're just awesome, down to earth people. And they're like everyone. Just <laughs> them because they're just regular people who wanted to make a goal of a hundred countries to travel to and all of these people have been following them for so long they have over a million subscribers on YouTube and they had about 800 people show up to the party yesterday so it also gave us inspiration for our own channel and for our own vlogs and the route we want to take and um, just some personal goals that we have um, thought about since you know hearing them speak and everything and their documentary was awesome they she had been working on it for hours on end yeah. every day she was staying up to like almost four o'clock in the morning and there was some footage that we have never seen even though we've seen a lot of their 700 and some odd videos yeah so they um definitely uh I'm glad we came. I'm glad we got to experience this 100th country party. Yeah. So it is 34 degrees here in Nashville on this Sunday morning. So we're going to go grab some coffee and some breakfast before we head off to the airport. Did you have fun? I did. What was your favorite part? Our event yesterday. It was so much fun. It was a lot of fun. It was. I want to come back when it's not so cold. We had just made it home from Nashville. We had a fantastic time, but I am happy to be home to yes. sleep in my own bed. <laughs> Definitely. That bed wasn't too uncomfortable. It no. was just awkwardly located. Yeah, it was. We stayed in like a old studio apartment that was turned into kind of like an apartment hotel kind of thing. It was really cool. Like it was super historic slash trendy. Like they updated it, but I mean, I'd say there again. Yeah. If you if you're in Nashville and you kind of want that kind of not so hotel-y feel, more of like an apartment feel, it's called the Lee Aparta Hotel, uh, and it's by Dyer Management, so you can book it through them. We had a fantastic time. We had so much fun. We got to meet a lot of new people. We actually flew home on an airplane with two guys who were at 
the uh, Kara and Nate 100 Country Party with us. So it was really nice meeting them. If you're watching this, hello. We will definitely hit you up when we come to Portland. And likewise, when you're in Austin, make sure to hit us up as well. It was cool because we could all kind of interact with each other. Yeah. Via our Instagrams, it was <laughs> hashtags galore. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that were uh, going back and liking photos and, and connecting with. So With like-minded um, people. That's kind of the whole... I mean, the party was really fun to celebrate their achievements, but it was really cool being in a room of like-minded individuals. Yeah. Like Hera and Nate said, it was the best of the best, even though they have a million followers. Yeah. There's is like almost 800 people that are there like super dedicated yeah. to it i mean people flew in from not just all over the united states but there's people there from all over the world there was tokyo tokyo kuwait i think was the furthest one Dana, there was in new zealand denmark denmark new zealand um and then people from all corners of the united states so it was really really interesting yeah so at this party someone asked a question like what do you have any advice for new vloggers and they were saying just to make a goal even if it seems unachievable and go for it so that's kind of that's kind of lit a fire under our butts to make a goal and we have a goal in mind we don't think it's unachievable but it's a fairly big goal so that's why we want to put it out into the universe and work towards it so we're actually gonna have a separate video I mean, but when we started this vlog we did have the mindset of going in as this is a flight attendant life vlog but the more that we do it the more youtubers that we follow the more traveling that we do on our own we are excited to branch off not just doing flight attendant vlogs but we will continue to do those but to expand our horizons to kind of open it up to more, a more broad audience. But again, mm -hmm. we'll get into all that on uh, a short little video. But we're home. We're super excited. We're hungry. Our babies <laughs> were so excited to see our us. babies were excited to see us well that's gonna do it for this vlog guys if you're new here please be sure to subscribe turn on those notifications give this video a like if you're not new here thank you so much for sticking around we're just getting started also if you were at the 100th yeah country party put it in the Leave comments us comment let below. us know that you were there or if you Remember seeing us there, like whatever it may be. Or if you weren't at that party and you know Kara and Nate, you know, thank you for watching the vlog and like Le and subscribe. By all means, leave us your Instagrams below in the comments. So we want to follow you guys. We want to be friends with like-minded people. And I mean, I'm always looking for people to bounce ideas off of. So on that note, good we're night, hungry guys. and we're going to go get food. So <laughs> good night. Bye.